guys, welcome back to the Gibberish Jamboree. I am, as always, your host, Mike, and today we are going to be looking at building a budget-friendly, family-oriented PC. Let's just jump over into it. And here we go. So we're gonna come over here. Don't, uh, don't mind my background. I'm gonna pull up some good old Firefox. All right, so this is a really cool website because they have other build guides already on here. You can customize a build, you can, you know, you can even use it to order your parts, I'm fairly certain. We'll find out. System Builder. And here it's really easy. It won't let you choose parts that are incompatible. It'll show you if there are incompatibilities throughout your entire system, which is really convenient because a lot of the times if you're looking to build a PC for the first time, you're not necessarily going to know what is and is not compatible. We're not all experts at this stuff overnight. I'm not even an expert now, and I've been doing it for probably close to 10 years. Every PC starts at their base, starts at their central processing unit, their CPU. If you ever heard the term processor, that's what that is. So click choose a CPU. You. So since this is a budget-friendly family PC, we're not going to go for a huge gaming tower rig with a bunch of LEDs and all kinds of other stuff. We're just going to go with a simple, basic, nice, just easygoing PC. Now it is going to be able to do a little bit of gaming, which is nice. Um, but it's not gonna be a gaming PC by any means. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with the AMD Ryzen 5 2400G. Add that to your cart. All right, I know that seems like a lot to start out with, $134.05, 135 basically, but it's fine. It comes with a CPU cooler, so you can actually skip the next step, and then we hop down to your motherboard. All right, for a motherboard, you're gonna to wanna to go with a compatible chipset, which it's only gonna show you chipsets that are compatible with your processor. It's only gonna show you size sockets, CPU sockets that are compatible with your processor. So if you come down here and you look through, some of these motherboards are completely compatible right out of the box and other ones are going to take a little bit of finesse and finagling to get to work properly. Like any of them that say uh, B4 or X4, <clears throat> those are going to be compatible with, with um, your processor right out of the box. If it says A3 or B3 or X3, it's going to be compatible after an update, which you won't be able to update it without a processor, a compatible processor. So you're going to want to stick to um, the 400 series. So say like a, a B450 or a X470, probably not the X470 because those guys get expensive real quick. And B450 is, is fine for anything you need. Let's see here. So we're gonna be building a micro ATX, which for those of you who don't know, that is like the medium standard for a computer. So click micro ATX and then click uh, sort by price. All right, cheapest one is gonna be this GA a 320m scratch it off because you don't have a processor to update it right off the bat asrock b450m hdv r4 interesting let's take a look at it all right so it's it's a pretty pretty normal no thrills motherboard nothing too special or fancy about it i like it let's add it all right so with ryzen memory speed is pretty important you're going to want to make sure that it's a high speed memory and that it's compatible with your motherboard so you're going to want to spend a little bit extra money and get something that's a little bit faster i'd say anything from 3000 to 3200 is a good range so let's see here right here at the top we got the corsair vengeance lpx 16 gigs uh, ddr4 3000 2 by 8 gig kit which is good and it's 69 bucks we might be able to do a little bit better so let's change the price over scroll in here to compatibility 3000 3200 lowest price by those um that is a 4 gig let's go ahead and choose how much we want as well so 2 by 8 gig kit and that gives us 16 gigs, which is good kind of middle ground for memory. Looks like your best bets are going to be anywhere from the $60 range to maybe the $70 range. 65 looks like a good area. You'll notice a lot of these are, are really flashy gaming oriented RAM. And that's fine. It's not going to really make a difference. It just looks nice. I've heard a lot of good things about the team group. G skill is also good. Team, Team T-Force, Team Vulcan, Team Vulcan. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with this Team T4 Vulcan 16 gig kit, 3000, 2 by 8 gig. Okay, go ahead and add that to the cart. All right, so for storage, it is 2019. Everyone needs an SSD, everyone. There's no excuse not to have an SSD. SSD stands for solid state drive. Basically, it means that there's no spinning disk like with a mechanical hard drive, so everything reads and writes faster, it's less prone to failure, and it's a lot quieter. If you've ever had an old computer and you turn it on and then you hear that, tink, 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 that's your hard drive. 
and probably your hard drive failing. But we don't have to worry about that because we're going with an SSD. Yay! Alright, so we're not going to go crazy with an SSD. We're pretty much just going to use it for our operating system. 120 gigs. It fills up really fast. Really, really fast. But it's fine because it's just for your operating system. And it's $20. Bam, add that to the cart. All right, and now you are going to want a hard drive, at least a one terabyte for your files, your your pictures and your movies and your documents and your your music and all that kind of stuff. You're going to want to you're going to want a hard drive. That's all there is to it. So, I personally have had really good luck out of the CK Barracuda drives. I'm just saying, a lot of people knock them. Don't. <laughs> all right. So, 3.5 is going to be your standard desktop hard drive so let's sort it by price and then we will come down its capacity you're going to want between 500 and a thousand gigabytes that's going to be your standard so we've got a toshiba for 23 dollars western digital blue um for another 20 22.95 22.99 these are really good but a 500 gig drive will fill up pretty quickly so if we come up to like the bare minimum one terabyte drives you're looking at about forty dollars which is fine that's fine that's fair it's it's keeping legitimately all of your files safe and secure let's go ahead and add that to cart for 42 dollars. that's a pretty good price so right now we're up to 325 dollars even don't know how that happened all right so Here's what we're skipping, actually. We do not need a video card. Video card is for rendering graphics and things like that. For this build, it's completely unnecessary because this processor has a built-in graphics chip. So it doesn't need a graphics card for outputting video, whereas some of your higher-end processors will need a graphics card to output video because they're just focused on processing. So, case. We gotta go with case. Alright, so right off the bat, we're gonna sort by price. We don't need a, a nice, frilly, ooh la la, look at my, look at, look at my computer tower chassis build case fancy. This is a family, computer, budget oriented, everything like that. Let's just click a few options and we'll go through and look. Rosewill, some pretty cheap cases diy pc also some pretty freaking cheap cases scm1 all right it's got a door it's got some fan holes it's got thumb screws which is actually pretty much a luxury this one right here i actually really like this one you know it's really basic but it comes with a fan top mounted power supply looks like you've got some cable routing there you've got your hard drive trays you've got a spot for an ssd and you've even got expandability for if you for some reason wanted to add a disk drive in 2019 or i guess you could use it for an sd card reader or anything like that but a lot of that stuff's external nowadays oh well so let's go ahead and add that to the cart because i like it. i like it a lot all right so we've got everything in there and we are up to a grand total of $344.99. The last two key things we need to choose are a power supply and an operating system. Let's see here. We go through and our total wattage estimated throughput is 169 watts. That is dismal. That is absolutely nothing. So in this case, you're going to want to sort by price, but you're still going to want something that's worth, you know, anything. <laughs> so thermal take, I have nothing against thermal take. It's 80 plus it's $37 and 76 cents. It's not bad. That's really, really not bad. Corsair. I know them brand a little bit better. I actually have a Corsair power supply in my personal computer right now. I'm looking at it. 80 plus bronze. And basically the 80 plus efficiency rating is, uh, this is 80 plus base, 80 plus bronze. And then it'll go silver, gold, platinum. The higher that goes, the more efficient the power supply is going to be as far as failure and, and reliability and things like that. So 80 plus bronze is probably what I would go with. And it's less than $40. So we add that in and that is a computer and it's built for under four hundred dollars fun fact about this system uh you can actually game on it you can game on it pretty well because this uh, ryzen 5 2400g processor right here it has built-in graphics processing chip if you go in and you can set this guy right you can game at like 1080p medium settings on most games and then you just play little browser-based games or anything like that this is great for grandma's facebook games too don't worry so all that's left is to choose an operating system maybe a monitor and some peripherals so your basics are going to be windows 10 home 64-bit that's a hundred dollars right off the bat you can buy it directly from them but some of the bigger tech tubers have turned me on to this site called 
Kingwin. Kingwin is like a software code selling site. To the best of my knowledge, it's legit. Let me type in here. Windows 10. Windows 10 OEM key. Uh, OEM means e original equipment manufacturer. So if you were to like buy a computer from Dell or HP or Lenovo or you know a company like that you would get an oem key with your system and that's why these guys sell for so cheap because they just they're they're mass produced keys it's perfectly viable to use this and it's 27 dollars 11 i'd say that's a much better deal all right so getting off of kingwin and going back over to the pc parts picker so what was that 20 27 so 27 dollars on top of that you're looking at a little over 400 dollars for your pc all right so you're, now you're going to want to monitor obviously because you need to see things so we come over here sort by price you 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 you're for a family pc you're okay with probably the cheapest monitor that is going to come into your lap all right so here we have an acer k202 hql it is a 20 inch screen 19 and a half whatever um 16 by 9 no nowadays you want at least 1080p all right so the skepter e22w 1920 it's 1920 by 1080 60 hertz refresh rate five millisecond response time tn panel it's not going to be the best as far as color reproduction or anything like that don't expect to be graphic designing on this thing but for gaming it'll do just fine and it's 80 bucks now i'm not going to say you should do this but if you scroll around craigslist and facebook yard sale and things like that there are people trying to get rid of their old computer equipment daily you can always find a second hand monitor i was i was actually goodwill the other day and i found a 1080p 24 inch monitor for 40 dollars, and it worked i didn't have 40 dollars, otherwise i would have gotten it and also i have four monitors so i don't think i need another one i don't have a problem you have a problem all right, so yeah, so we'll just add this and hypothetically $80 monitor. So we're up to 4, 62, 86, add 27 for the operating system. So we're at 489. We're under $500 and we have a very, very capable family computer that will last for a few years at least. Last but not least, choose a keyboard, sort by price, Logitech K120. What's that? Logitech MK120. K120 looks like a pretty standard keyboard there. Let's look at the MK120. Oh, it's the K120 and it comes with a mouse. It's $13. Add. There we go. So, $476. Add in $27. $27 for an operating system. And we are at $504, give or take. $504 for a very capable computer that's family friendly and will last you for several years. Pretty much everything you need to do on a family computer, you can do with this computer and it will do it excellently. Now, if you don't need a stronger computer, then you know you can bump this down to a different process or change up the motherboard and everything like that. It'll it'll drop the price considerably. Like if we were to change the CPU to say a Ryzen 3 2200G. It's got Radeon Vega 8 versus the Radeon Vega 11. So it's not gonna have as strong of graphics capabilities, but it's also $50 cheaper. So bam, you can take $50 off that total right there. You, you, you got a you got a good PC and like I said that's for the monitor and mouse and keyboard and everything like that too if you already have a mouse and keyboard laying around you don't need to buy that if you already have a monitor laying around pff, no need to get that either now something you do want to check out for these motherboards is you want to make sure that they have graphical outputs because that's pretty important yeah okay so for this one you have the full array of inputs the only thing you're lacking is display port and if chances are if you're building a family friendly PC you do not have a monitor that requires display port so you got a, a DVI port a VGA port and an HDMI port so you are pretty set all right guys so that was my video on building a family oriented budget friendly PC with pretty much no thrills and frills in it it's just a basic computer to do pretty much everything you need to do on a daily basis but do it very very well I want to do some of these videos some more types of these videos in the future as far as PC configurations and things like that uh, try to help people choose what kind of computer they want to build if they want to build one if not hey i'll build it for you just pay me money please so if you want to see more things like this uh, be sure to like comment subscribe and fun fact what inspired this video is a buddy of mine he is going today and he's actually going to get these parts and he's going to build his first computer yay and he's gonna let me know how it goes how it works and everything like that and i can do a follow-up video after that so uh, be sure to tune in for that should be coming in the next couple days because like i said he's going to get these parts tomorrow or today Day. All right, uh, bye guys. Hey. They're really...
they're really doing yard work right now. It is 